remember this one? This was a while back, but I did show you how to fix this cape. Well, I'm going to show you something more now. This is the initial figure straight out of the box. This is actually his twin brother. And yeah, it's a remake of that old figure. And of course, in this old video that you saw earlier, and if you haven't seen it, I do recommend you go see it. But I did show you how to remove that plastic cape and remove the cowl off of the plastic cape so that you can attach a new one. In this case, it was very simple. A little bit of heat and it went a long way. Prying it off with a flat screwdriver and now you've got yourself a separate cowl. And of course, if you remove the head, it's easier to do all of the work. Now you've got that gap that is underneath between the cowl and the body and that's perfect because you need that gap to place in the new cape that you cut from pleather, which is what you see here. So with the rotary blade cutting your cape and then sewing it on the sewing machine, and you've got yourself the splines sewn in on the inside, which you won't see those unless you pose a cape. And then you've got a small peg hole for that cowl to fit into and you glue it into the cowl itself and set it on the body for it to look like this. Now, this has the wires in it, and this has the cape glued down to the body. And this, of course, was a commission piece. So the end result looks really, really nice when you change out the cape, and it gives your figure more dynamics. But I did see a few other people making some different changes, and that's what we're gonna do in this video. And by the way, once you display the cape, it should look like this once you have the wires fully articulated. But again, we're gonna go a step further. And in this video, I've already done the work, I just wanna show you what I did, is I replaced those thighs with those three Jokers Batman that a lot of people have been doing. But they leave these gaps, these triangular gaps above the knees, and that just uh, didn't sit well with me. So I filled them in with epoxy, sanded them down, and repainted it. I also repainted the boots. These are the original boots from the figure. And they, of course, have a dry brush metallic look to them. And I covered them in Tamiya X22, which is a clear coat. Now, the arms themselves is what I do want to show you because it's a little more intricate. And those arms are also from Three Jokers Batman. However, they have a short peg. The peg that is on the original arm is very long and I had to extend the short peg and I did remove those gauntlets off of the original arms from this figure and glued them onto these arms from the three jokers Batman let me show you what it looked like before so that you can get a better sense of what this figure now looks like you keep the broad shoulders because we need that cape to fit over that and this time the cape is going to go around the front so let me skip forward to that and show you what the process is. Even though this is not a full-blown cape making video, it takes a lot of those same steps. It's just a lot more material. Everything else is the same except the next trick that I'm going to show you, which is using the blue tape to make the straight lines to, well, be able to follow a straight line and keep the sewing together in a straight um pattern. So I've taken the cape, cut out these pieces of tape, taped them onto the cape itself. I made some markings at the center that are going to be hidden and markings at the very edge where I meet up the other edge of the tape. And of course that's also going to be cut off as I make those scallops. This is what the full cape looks like. It's 18 inches in diameter so it's a very very large cape. This is what it looks like now that I've put in those seams for my wiring and there's going to be four scallops which is what it looks like before the wires and before it's actually attached to the cowl right now it is only placed um, well it's the cowl is holding it in place there's no glue into it yet so let me show you what it looks like fully completed so overall, this was a very complex cape to make, simply because it is a double layer cape. There's a black uh, metallic liner on the inside to cover up those splines. And 
the 20 gauge wire that you see coming around here is on the edge of the cape and then on the splines that are in the back behind this there is 24 gauge wire a little more flexible now as you see the neck itself i did not bring the corners together of the cape on this clip i did do that on the last one and i had to sew it in so that they stay together and i can drape it around the chest and over the shoulder that way it matches the plastic cape that it came with now i'm going to leave you with the rest of this video and do remember that there is a giveaway at 7,000 subscribers. This is the time that you want to go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment, whether it's on this figure here on the cape or on the giveaway that is coming up at 7,000 subscribers. In any case, enjoy the rest of the clip and we'll see you here next time.